Welcome. This is 49i4 and we're going we're to talk about conductivity and resistivity. Two different ways of looking at materials electrically. And what we say is that we say that if a sample has resistance then the material that is used to make the sample must have resistivity and the unit of resistivity is the ohm meter and the uh, equation that gives us this relationship is the resistance of the sample is equal to the resistivity of the material times the length of the material and the cross-sectional area of the material as soon as it's got roughly this this kind of columnar shape um, okay so that's an important equation and it's also from time to time you'll hear people talk about uh, uh, conductivity which is the uh, um, reciprocal of resistivity. And it just struck me as I was, I was, I was reading through this, it, it's worthwhile just talking a little bit more about this. So what I did was I divided the world up and we can talk about uh, the material properties on the bottom, if I can find my pen again, materials properties on the bottom. So these are material properties. And we talk about, oh, conductivity And we'll talk about resistivity. And these are measured well. Ohm meters is the unit for resistivity. And for uh, uh, conductivity, it would be the Siemens per meter. And then if you want to talk about samples, then we have conductance. and we have resistance and the resistance is measured in ohms and the conductance is measured in siemens and sometimes you'll come across a, a thing called a, a mole uh, it's ohm backwards and the uh, the international community would rather that we didn't talk about that anymore <laughs> but you'll see it in some old textbooks <laughs> so um, what is the resistance of a cylindrical resistor that is made of a material that has a resistivity? So this is resistivity is equal to 4 ohm meters. It has a length equals to 3 meter and a cross-sectional area equals to 2 oh, times 10 to the minus 2 meters i don't like leaving non si units just kicking around like that uh that's the oh, i'm sorry and also that's the radius hmm. so i want to find the resistance so i say r is equal to rho l over a so that's going to be rho times l now the area is not the resistance we clearly it's not it's a it's a circular area so this is pi r squared and so we say R is equal to 4 times L is 3 over pi times 2 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. So what does that work out to be? And so we say 4 times 3 equals and then divided by pi equals and then divided by 2 second ee to the minus 2 equals that's for the first one divided by 2 second ee to the minus uh, 2 for the second one and I get now I get my pen the right way around I get nine five four nine ohms so that's how much resistance that sample would have i threw a curve in i give you the radius rather than the area a resistor has a resistance of six ohms so this is going to be r is equal to six ohms what is the resistance of another cylindrical resistor if the resistivity is double the length is tripled etc so 
I can basically I'm comparing an old version with a new version and I know that R old equals 6 but I don't know what R new is I know that uh, let's have a look resistivity new equals resistivity is doubled equals two times resistivity old I know that length new is three times length old and I know that area new is a half of area old so what I do is I say well what's the basic equation R is equal to rho L over A and I say this is a ratio problem engineers physicists sometimes they know they double something they know they triple something they know they have something and they want to know what the change is going to be so I say R new over R old is equal to well R new over 6 which equals if I can ratio the left hand side I can ratio the right hand side so that equals uh, uh, resistivity new length new over area new divided by resistivity old length old over area old now look at my ratios oh I don't know what values they had but I know that the new one is two times the old one so that's two times the old resistivity and I know that the new one is three times the old length so this is three times the old length and I know that the area is a half of the old area now can you see how nicely all the ones are on the bottom two threes are six six divided by a half is not three six divided by a half is twelve so watch out for that if you're doing it in your head people sometimes make a mistake on that and the amazing number of people a small but significant part of the class will give the answer as 12 because they're not thinking in complete sentences if you've written all this down the benefit is you know that R nu over 6 is equal to 12 so R nu which equals 6 times 12 is equal to 72 ohms ratio problems really 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 uh, reward you for thinking in sentences try to try to make it so that pretty well everything you write down is self-consistent and correct it's self-consistent and correct it's self-consistent and correct try not to use the page as a jotting pad Try to write down a principle and then write down flowing equations that come from that and you'll make fewer slips. There we have it.